Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you very much. The honorable member for Shuangandu. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, the matter of urgent public importance I'm raising is directed to our honor the Vice President. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Before I proceed, I just want to draw your attention to Standing Orders 44 and Article 72, Sub-Article 2, of the sub, 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 Article 74, Sub Article 2 of the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia. And I'll quote that under Article 74, 2 of the Constitution, the opposition party with the largest number of seats in the House shall, shall elect a leader of opposition from amongst its members of the opposition party. And therefore, Madam Speaker, in line with this, on behalf of my colleagues, we have declared this election to give effect to that announcement you have made. Order, and therefore, order. we don't recognize it. Order, order, order. Honorable Member for Shuangandu, please, can you please take your seat? If you were following my ruling, the last ruling that I made, the issues of interpreting the law, the constitution, Verse in our courts, not with the speaker. If you are not happy or uh, displeased with what is happening within your political party, you have recourse to go to court. Don't draw the legislative wing of the arm of government to start interpreting the law. Order, we make progress. Honorable Member for Petauke. I will advise, I guided that, that, no, but what you, is it the same issue about, so then why were you, why were you addressing a matter that was not being, no, 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 for the record, can what the Honorable Member for Shikiwangandu said be expunged from the record, we were not on that item. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, Your Honor the Vice President, Your Honor the Vice President, the matter, just wait, Your Honor the Vice President, the, the first thing we do when we come into this house as the people's representatives elected is to swear to uphold the Constitution. And that we, we declare that we have a responsibility to protect and defend the constitution oh, as by law order, established. Order, I, order, order. Is your honor, are you uh, me, in uh, order to sit? Order, order. Honorable member for Shuangandu, order. Order, order. Order, honorable member for Shuangandu, I uh, have the floor, order, order. Order, oh, honorable members on my right, please don't agitate the others. Honorable member for Shuangandu, please go precisely to state your point of order. Do not appear to be attacking any member of the house. Just state your point of order in a respectful manner, the way I know you. You can state your point without a pointing fingers at her honor, the vice president, who is the leader of government business in the house. You may proceed. Well guided, Madam Speaker, and my mother, uh, I withdraw my finger. Madam Speaker, 
disregard of the constitution is a recipe for anarchy. And anarchy, once takes root, can be... I've always known means of justice. And let's respect each other. Order, honorable members. Order, order, honorable members on my right. Order. Order, honorable member for Lunte. You are not the one on the floor. Please, please, let's, let's respect ourselves. The respect is mutual. If you continue, honorable member for Lunte, if you continue, you will find yourself outside. Let me just go before I'm outside. Thank you. Honorable member for Shiwangandu, please be precise and to the point. Madam Speaker, I was saying that uh, disregard of the Constitution, the supreme document, whether we have got the, 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 the jurisdiction to interpret it, we must respect it. Are we in order, Madam Speaker, to sit here and breach the Constitution with impunity as an institution which is uh, a legislative arm of government with responsibility to formulate laws that should manage and govern the people? Are we in order to disregard the law and our own rules through these standing orders. What is, is the guidance. matter? What is the matter of urgent? The matter is process? Article 74, sub Article 2, has been breached of the Constitution. And here, those of us who have sworn to defend the Constitution have every right to defend the Constitution order, with everything order. that we have in our power. Order, Honorable Member for Shwangandu, your point has been taken as earlier guided. You can. T you have. You have concluded, isn't it? You have concluded. I'm now ruling. I'm making a ruling. As earlier guided, please let's go to court if we are not happy. As I've said, the interpretation of the constitution. I don't have the powers. The powers vest in the courts. Once the court makes a ruling, we will abide by that ruling. That is what I can say. The next honorable member for Kamfinsa. Uh, Madam Speaker. Order, order, order. Order, honorable member for Peter. Okay, please take your seat. Honorable members on my right, please, I, I need your cooperation. Don't uh, uh, start shouting at the members that want to raise points of order. Let's respect ourselves. Honorable Member for Confisa, what's your matter of urgent public importance? Madam Speaker, I'm grateful for the opportunity to raise this very, very important urgent matter of public importance, the Suwans to Standing Order 134. Madam Speaker, allow me as I raise this matter, which is directed to the Minister of Home Affairs, to quote Article 62 of the Republican Constitution. The Constitution, Madam Speaker, reads, and I quote, a political party shall respect the rights of its members to participate in the affairs of the political party. Madam Speaker, this is the Republican Constitution of Zambia, and I draw the attention of the Minister of Home Affairs to this very, very important article. I also wish to draw Article 49.2D of the Patriotic Front Constitution, which requires, Madam Speaker, that candidates for the presidency are order, subjected order, to the National order, Council. Order, honorable members. I'm not even going to debate this issue. You may take your seat. I haven't finished, Madam Speaker. No, I know where you are going. From the, the preamble, from the preamble, I've guided, I've guided, honorable members. Honorable member, may you please take your seat? Honorable Member for Kamfinsa, you are talking about provisions of the Constitution, provisions of a Constitution of a political party. The mandate of this House is to provide oversight, to legislate, to uh, budget, to, pro to approve the budget, and to do representative uh, roles for our, the people of Zambia. It's not the mandate of this House 
to interpret the constitution. So please, for those matters where you need the constitution to be interpreted, please get, uh, uh, get relief from the courts of law. I've guided. So let's follow that procedure. You will not get a relief from me because I don't provide such a relief. If you, are go if you want to raise a matter of urgent public importance, you should be precise to the point. If you start by opening matters that are subject to, to a matter that I've ruled upon, I'll rule you out of order. So, my Honorable Member for Kamfisa, can you precisely state what your matter of urgent public importance is without reference to the matters that you earlier mentioned? You may proceed. Well, Madam Speaker, I, I was basically building a point leading to my urgent matter. And like I indicated, I quoted two provisions. Oh, I've guided, Honorable Member. Proceed and state your issue. Madam Speaker, there's a way in which I would want to raise the point. Oh, honorable Member for Confessor, I've guided. I have guided. This is a democratic and... country, Madam Speaker. We should be allowed to speak. We should be allowed to speak. Madam Speaker, why are you preventing me from speaking? This is our country. We all belong to this country. We should be allowed to... Order, order, honorable members, order. Order. Honorable member for... Order, order, honorable member. Honorable member for Kampisa, out. Then you leave the house. Leave the house now. Oh, oh, the sergeant at arms, can you make sure that you clear the house? Clear the house. Security, please, can you help clear the house? Honorable Sergeant, Sergeant at Arms, can you leave? Can you make sure that the Honorable Member for Confista leaves the house immediately?
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go